In today's Madden 21 video, we are going to be breaking down Young Kiv's offense in Madden NFL 21 and talking about uh, his game versus Decroft and what I believe to be one of the best offenses in Madden 21. Had Young Kiv had uh, a little bit better of a red zone showing, I think Young Kiv would have ran away with this game. His offense was perfect basically until he got to the red zone and we are going to talk about his offense what you can take away from this game what you can learn from this this was a matchup um this was literally just one of the best matchups you'll see all season and uh, we're going to jump right in now first quarter obviously um the first couple of drives here we're just going to kind of talk a little bit about uh, what you're seeing right now d croft is on offense as you can see here young kids on defense and this is where d croft is actually going to make a little bit of a mistake ends up throwing it young kid gets the pick and heads down and this is what young kid i felt like um you know i don't know if it's a credit to d croft or a discredit to young kid but with the lack of an ability to execute in the red zone, this really came back to bite Kiv in this game. Now, if you've never been to my channel, my name's Cody, and I do Madden 21 tips and tricks on this channel. Now, sometimes we break down um, different offenses, play breakdowns, scheme breakdowns from um, our own stuff. Sometimes we do videos like this where we learn from pro players, learn from people who have made thousands of dollars playing this game. And uh, literally, I think young Kiv might be one of the top if not the top bunch passer of all time his route combinations his his offensive mind is so good and i'm so excited to get uh, a step into his mind uh, for today and show you this video i really hope that you guys enjoy the video um, and if you enjoy these videos these pro breakdowns that i've been doing let me know in the comments um, that way i know that you guys like it so i can keep doing that if you don't like it let me know um, but uh, i just i've really enjoyed doing this series and just kind of learning and stepping inside the mind of these players so right here uh kiv is going to go to his red zone offense which is basically um, kiv is running the carolina panthers playbook he's got the i form tight here um, and just honestly trying to catch a run you know, really, the I-form tight halfback dive, in my opinion, is pretty hard to shoot. But what D. Croft does, and what you're starting to see, I think a lot of people do in the red zone, is they're going to more of a just basically run commit out of big nickel over G, um, or, you know, spy in their safety. So, like, right here, Young Kiv refuses to pass. I'm not sure why he didn't try, like, a little corner route, a little something but ends up going to that dive again. Kind of a conservative play call right here. Now on third and goal, I thought we were going to get to see some bunch and um, see what he's doing in the red zone and bunch. He ends up not going to this play call. He actually ends up checking it down, trying to catch Decroft, um, and ends up going with an inside zone out of the pistol. And then what's going to happen is Decroft is going to actually be able to shoot this gap right here. So you'll see he's going to go this pistol ace halfback slam. I'm sure he's labbed this up against that big nickel over G defense. You'll see he had ID in this guy right here. And just basically, you see the lane he's trying to get. And he almost gets it, but ends up getting stopped. And Decroft is able to get the ball back and able to go down and uh, score. So, um, so uh, anyways, here. So, here we are. We're going into the next drive. And Decroft's going to get the ball. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to fast forward. Um, Kid was running nickel 3-5. We've talked a little bit on the channel about Decroft's offense if you want to check that video out uh, just shoot me a text i can shoot you the link to that my number is 812-216-3644 but we're gonna and it'll pop up on your screen here throughout the throughout the video as well but we're gonna just kind of head through and get through this because uh, i want to show you and spend some time today uh, talking about young kids offense so right here um, obviously D cross gonna be able to go in and score now this was actually a momentum shifting style play so kid really has not had a possession yet on offense this is kiv's first passing possession that he has now d croft and the tnc crew are known for their lab work their ability to get into practice mode their ability to test things out they have a really good crew over there they're always able to find some hidden things or some things that um, are just you know tough and d croft's going to hit kiv with a really nice user rush now what you'll see is kiv is coming out in the gun bunch offset from carolina now he's going to come out in it flipped and what I want you to notice here is this little route combination that he's going to go to. I actually love this route combination. We're going to break it down over here into our practice mode. So on practice mode, you can see here, I'm in the gun bunch offset. So what Kib would do from time to time is he would come out in this play spacing switch. Now, something that's important to understand is Kib, as a general rule, most bunch players will tend to want to run their bunch to the wide side of the field. Not necessarily the case with Kiv. You'll see he mixes it up based on the play, so play calls that he wants to call. 
But he's going to go to the spacing switch in this situation, and basically he's going to call it, and he calls it flipped, knowing full well that he wants to flip the play at the line of scrimmage. So what he's going to do is he's going to place Mike Evans because he had a slot apprentice. And that's part of why I'm playing with the Bucks, just so I can show you the routes. So he had a slot apprentice on the left side. He also had a tight end apprentice. So he took his slot apprentice and he put him on a post route, and then he just flipped the play. You'll notice in bunch, that flip is going to allow it to stay. And then he's just going to take the running back and put the running back on a little shoot flat. Now, under normal circumstances, this is actually a really, really good route combination. That post route's going to beat pretty much every coverage in the game. It's going to force Decroft's user to go to the post. And then he has his little check down curls uh, against the uh, zone coverage. So let's take a look here at what's going to happen. So uh, right here, uh, notice really quickly here that Decroft is going to be very aggressive from the jump of the ball here. So you see this very simple route combination. He's got a slant. He's got um, a flat route to the running back. He's got this post route, and then he's obviously got the corner route to the tight end here. This little shoot flat route to McLaurin is just designed to pull the zones down. Obviously, if he's not playing hard flats, Kiv can actually outside pass lead this and rack catch it up and get a pretty decent gain. So essentially what he's forcing is a Mabel coverage from Decroft on both sides of the field. So take a look here at uh, what's going to happen, though. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice here is Decroft is, I think he's in man-to-man. -man. Pretty sure he's in man-to-man, -man. yep. Um, actually, no, he wasn't in man. He was actually in a he was actually in a, a cover two defense right here. So what you'll notice on this, kind of a, a hybrid, but he ends up sending that user rush off that left edge and is able to get that touchdown. Obviously, he's hyped and, and really, really uh, pumped up about that. But Kiv did have some routes open right there. I just think that that user rush caught Kiv off guard a little bit. You see, um, he could have hit the shoot flat right here to the running back. I think he was trying to see what was going on over here right first. Did not look over here. And obviously, Decroft just able to catch him kind of blind. I, in my opinion, this is what I think. I think Kiv was staring down this side of the field. And he missed this over here. Because if he would have looked over here, would have been an easy, quick, out to the flat and go. So, anyway, that's just my two cents on the play. Um, obviously, we're here to learn from young Kiv, though, and uh, we're going to jump into the next play breakdown here in just a moment. So, Kiv is now going to come out, and he's going to go on an incredible drive. You're going to see here in just a second the offensive power that he does have. Obviously, right now down 14-3, to three, but you're going to see he's going to fight for him, and he is going to roll here in just a moment. So, what you're going to see right here, the flipping of the bunch, as we see from Kiv a lot, Love this route combination that he's about to run. So basically what he has, and I like the way that Kiv runs this route. So you'll see here Decroft is going back. I think he's still in Tampa too. What you're going to notice is that Kiv is going to put this running back on a flat pretty much 80 to 85% of his routes. He's also going to have the tight end on the flat right here. Um, so you'll see here, notice he's going to simply take his tight end flat and air truck up the field for a quick eight yards. So we're going to come over here to gameplay, and I want to show you um, exactly what Kiv is doing. Uh, with this double post place. So we're going to come out here, and we're just going to come out and double post exactly the way that Kiv was doing this on the game. And I just want to show you the route breakdown. Uh, double post by far is the best play in the game. Decroft coming out in that big nickel over G. I believe in this situation he was calling uh, cover two. But what you'll notice on this is Kiv is going to come out in this play, and then he's going to flip it at the line of scrimmage. So literally comes out, flips the play, and he's going to put uh, Godwin on a little hitch, and he's got the running back on a little shoot flat. Now, if um, Decroft's in cover two, which he was, he can hit this little, he can hit that little route to the tight end, and then basically what he can do is he can simply truck to allow his tight end to kind of get a steerable animation so that his tight end can get upfield a little bit better. So right here, click on, and he's just going to air truck up. I can't do it as well as Kiv can, but you saw it in there. And I think he might have actually been to the right hash on that, so that, that air truck's going to work even, even better. So you'll see here, right here, snap, throw, click on, and then just you can get that truck animation right there, just trying to get the flat to go. And uh, this is a very popular concept, concept out of bunch. Let me back up here just a second. I just want to make sure was that he was on the short side on this play. Let me see if I can get this thing to roll here. One sec. Let me come back here a few, few seconds here. He might have been. Yeah, he is on the left hash. So he did run this to the short side of the field. See that quick route? See how the cloud flat goes back out? And he's able to hit that. Very, very nice little read from double post. Um, it's part of what that post route does pull those clouds, which is part of what makes it such a good play. You can't, you can't just run cloud flats on the right side and expect it to work against this double post. So now in this situation, uh, Kiv is going to start to get back into, you know, just really his bread and butter. And uh, you're going to see right here just great route combinations. 
So right here, he's running mesh post. Decroft here is going to shift into just a cover three. Um, as you can see here, cover three, deep, deep. Um, and you're going to see, I think, a double flat on this side of the field. But anyways, uh, what you'll notice here is his user lurking on here. So Kim is running mesh post. So he has a flat, a streak, and a post. And then on this back side, he's got a drag, and he's got a little flat route. He should hit the flat route right here. Actually ends up hitting the post for a pretty nice little play. And we're going to come over here into game, and we're going to break down the play that Kim just ran. So Kim just ran the play mesh post from bunch offset. He had it flipped. Uh, and essentially what he did was he took Godwin, he put him on a fade, he took his, um, and then that was pretty much it. The seam wheel was was a hard, was just a shoot flat route. Uh, Kiv loved this little table routes uh, to the to the back here. And uh, what you're going to notice from Decroft is he was actually usering on this side of the field. Otherwise, Kiv probably would have hit the running back. But because he was usering on that side of the field, Kiv ended up not doing that. And Decroft's user basically went from the running back route to the underneath drag route, um, which allowed a nice little passing window uh, for Kiv. Now, Kiv does not use a lot of motion out of bunch. He kind of just snaps it. Um, but what you'll notice is this little post route right here gets over the yellow zones, and he's able to hit that for a nice little uh, inside pass lane. Now, with, with, the, with the specific defense that Decrop was running, I do want you to understand uh, really quickly here that the yellow zones, a lot of people are taking yellow zones off the field. They're running a lot of hard flats. Um, a lot of double flat zones right now. So like this was really kind of what more of what you actually saw And he might have even been in man coverage on this side of the field I'm not a hundred percent sure but he might have been doing something like this right here uh, Where he just had that manned up but effectively what that allowed Was it allowed for this window right here for the post as you can see right there? Okay, so we're gonna jump back over check out the next play from young Kiv. All right, so on this next play, he's going to go to Smash Return. Now, Smash Return, um, until this game, I hadn't given it much thought, but watching the way that Kiv ran Smash Return um, made me really rethink that. Uh, Smash Return, very, very good play. Uh, you'll notice that Kiv, and this is what's been interesting, he runs this to the short side a lot. You'll see um, he's going to flip the bunch, head into this uh, short side. Now, Smash Return has, you see the wiggly corner route, um, now, if you notice, there's a setup. Decroft actually, in this situation, shifts to a cover three defense. And we're going to break this down over here into game. And I just want to kind of show you what you're seeing on the field. So uh, what Kiv did was he flipped this, uh, flipped the smash return. Now, smash return, you can run it a lot of different ways. The way Kiv ran it on this specific play was he placed the left of screen outside receiver on a fade. He placed the left of screen inside slot receiver on a zig. And then the running back was on a little shoot flat route. And basically, um, that route to uh, the route to the outside guy, because Decroft was not playing hard flats, um, he didn't have any hard flats on the field. That smash, uh, the little dig route that um, Antonio Brown is on on this play, he is able to pull these zones oftentimes. Now, what you'll also notice on this play um, is Kiv could have checked down to this right here as well, and uh, you'll see he's going to come back to that as the play as the game continues to progress. So now that brings up a, a first down, balls on the right hash. What's interesting, like I said about Kiv, is he will oftentimes run the flood concepts to the short side of the field, not necessarily always to the wide side. Most people run those to the wide side. Kiv actually runs it to the short side, which is really interesting. But uh, he's going to go to PA dig fork right here, and he's going to flip this. You'll notice he's going to flip this, and he's going to run this to the right hash. So you'll see... Um, see right here he's got it flipped and he's going to flip the plate the line of scrimmage this is just trying to beat cover threes he's seen a lot of cover three so he's trying to get it over the top now he takes this check down but if you come back here and just take a look at this route i just want to show this real quickly um a lot of cover three meta at, at this point now i want you just to watch i want you to watch what's going to happen here watch this outside cornerback and watch kind of the rush so decroft goes with the user rush this is the primary reason that kid's going to check down Obviously, Kiv has made the adjustment on the user rush. He just blocks the running back. That's all you got to do. Look right here, though. Watch this outside corner. Right, right there. Right at this point of release. If Kiv waits for about a second or two longer, this route is going to get wide open back in here, and we'll show you exactly what Kiv was looking for uh, right now over on gameplay. I'm going to come out. So, again, Croft is coming out in the... Um, in the big nickel over G, so we'll show you that real quick. But I also want to show you, this is the play right here, PA dig fork, uh, and he is going to actually flip the play at the line of scrimmage. So you want to come out in it flip. There's a reason it's to leverage that slot apprentice that he has on his field. 
But anyway, big nickel over G, cover three sky. Now what Croft was doing, showing blitz out of this look right here, okay? Simply showing blitz. And uh, at this point, because uh, because uh, he's going to flip the bunch, you'll see that uh, Croft's going to flip with him. So he's going to flip the bunch. Croft flips his uh, defense as well. He's going to be sending a user rush right off this edge. So just to imitate that, I'm going to uh, just put him on a blitz. And what you'll notice is because you put that slot apprentice on a corner route, that corner route's going to stay right there. And basically, Young Kiv is taking a shot. This is our shot play. Three-man route combination. Croft's going to go with that user rush. And what you'll notice right here, um, if he had waited and had the time, uh, he had the one-play touchdown. That's what he's looking for right there. But because um, because of the defense that, that, that D. Croft was running, what you're going to see, again, I want to put that corner route out there, and then I want to run that. Uh, with a max protect as you can see right here and I got a basically a check down hitch so with the defense Croft was double flatting the, the the bunch side I believe and then he was user rushing right off this edge here uh, so he had a five-man rush with uh, with that Mabel coverage on that back side and then he had the cover three over the top and basically what that allowed is it allowed this little check down hitch right here uh, as you can see in the gameplay and I might have gotten the coverage wrong because it actually looks like he had um, I think he had the tight end manned up, and he just had regular yellows. He might have even had – I think he might have even just had him manned up. But anyway, um, obviously you see uh, that route able to able to work really, really nicely against that coverage. All right, so now uh, heading on to the next play. Uh, let's see here. I think that's the end of, end of the first quarter. So Kiv's going to come out now, and, I mean, you're just seeing, like, working up and down the field on him right now. And uh, here he is going to go to – I believe, is this mesh post? Yeah, mesh post again. So that same setup for mesh post that we broke down. He's got that flat route, got that route, and he's able to hit uh, able to hit that. Um, I think he hits the check down drag this time. Yep, hits that check down drag right over the middle of the field. And, um, yep, just going to keep it trickling the ball down the field. Second and eight, I like to check down, you know, the drag, just taking that easy, easy read, easy read. Now right here what you're going to notice is – Kiv starts to realize that Decroft is not running a ton of Mabel coverage at this point in the at this point in the first drive. He starts to realize kind of what Decroft's doing with his coverages, and so you're going to see a lot of this right here. This flood concept, just taking this flats, taking this flats. I just want to break this down um, over here into game really really quickly and show you uh, exactly what uh, what Young Kiv was doing on this. So on this play, Kiv is uh, Kiv is going to come out. And he's going to run the flood play. This is a great play stock and a play that you know really does a great job. So we'll show you this uh, right here. So again, uh, D. Croft's in his big nickel over G defense that DNC runs. Um, and what you'll see here, we're going to come out and bunch offset. The play is flood, and Kiv is actually going to flip this play. And uh, let me make sure. Let me check my notes and make sure I got the the right uh, stuff for you guys on this. So this is flood, and uh, basically all he's going to do on this is he is simply just going to um, quick hike it effectively but if it you know basically what this does is if you're not playing hard flats um, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble so he's gonna flip the play he's gonna take the running back put him on a little shoot flat route that's pretty much it and then just gonna go and quick snap the play obviously you've got flats on both sides as you can see I can run that that way as well now he did run this to the right hash so to the, the this would actually be you know ran like this is to the wide side of the field um, but what you'll notice is he's able to hit the running back the, and get a pretty nice little gain out of that because Decroft is really not playing um, much flats. I think Decroft kind of decided that he's going to let Kiv uh, work up and down the field, and then in the red zone, that's where Decroft is going to try to get his uh, majority of his stops on this on this game plan from, from Decroft. All right, on this next play, Kiv is going to go back to smash return. I absolutely love this. Uh, route combination that you're about to see from Kiv uh, from Smash Return, very similar to the one we saw uh, earlier on in the game. And what you'll notice is he's going to flip the play, go to Smash Return, and then he's going to flip, a simple flip of the play, and just take a look at the routes here. So he flips it, and then uh, what you'll notice is he's going to run that same concept with that corner uh, zig, and then he's going to hit that in route on that play right there. Very good read. I just want to break this down one more time because this route concept, uh, you haven't seen this a lot. I think you're going to start seeing it more um, out of bunch because this is one of Kiv's main uh, plays that he goes to over and over again and a very, very good play at that. But uh, smash return, now he did come out, and he didn't make any major adjustments to it, so we can just come at him this way. He did run it this, to this hash. Uh, but what you'll notice on this play, 
He's going to zig Godwin, take that outside guy, put him on a fade to let him run off the zones. And then he's got that little shoot flat route right there. And basically, uh, just going to check down right here to the in route. Now, obviously, if they're running cover three like I was, you can't do that. Uh, what, D, what Croft was running on this play is he was running man-to-man. Uh, -man. So because he was running because he was running man-to-man, -man, um, in particular, you had something like this, basically, where you had you know, this basic look. And I know this isn't the exact coverage, but you basically had man across the board uh, with a user in the middle of the field. The user went to the right. So Craw or uh, Kiv was able to just check down right to this little low ball. Uh, you can low ball that in route and typically have pretty good uh, success with it, especially in Mutt when you have the good route running um, that that uh, Kiv was able to have. So it brings up first and 10, ball on the 18. And what you're going to notice here is he is going to go to double post. And um, again, and you're going to start to see this is, you know, this is, if you just look at the defense uh, that that uh, that Decroft is playing, again, very very, you know, just kind of letting him drive. Honestly, I think Decroft's okay with it. And you'll see if you watch his. Now he says, "Hold, you know, hold here right now." He says, "Hold here right now." Decroft's game plan, in a nutshell, was to basically let Kip drive on him, try to get a couple get key plays with his user rush, and then stop him in the red zone. And that's exactly what he did. Um, Kiv, Kiv's decision to run I form tight mostly in the red zone here, uh, obviously that's his game plan. It didn't work. You see Croft able to shoot the gap, able to stop the I tight power O, able to able to really kind of control. For the most part, um, when when Kiv is not in gun bunch, like right here, I think Kiv might even, I think he wants to pass the ball right here. I think he actually is going to go to a pass right here. And what you'll see on this. He actually has the running back wide open. Instead, he tries to hit the wheel and ends up missing the read and um, just made a bad pass. And now you're going into a third down situation. Ball on the six. Um, I believe ball ball on the six here. And he is going to go to he is going to go to gun bunch. And he's going to go to double post. Um, now, if you'll notice what he's going to do, this is actually interesting. So he's going to place this left of screen solo receiver on a um da, 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 or i'm sorry no does he call timeout he does yeah i think he didn't get what he looked or either here one of the two of them i can't remember was it uh oh d croft called timeout right on that one okay so watch his uh route combination right here it's actually a really interesting route combination for this kind of positioning on the field but you see here he's going to put the left of screen um receiver uh now watch watch right here watch right here so this guy is on a smoke screen. The, the goal is that he pulls down any flat zones. The back is on a little in route. This guy's on a slant coming across. You have, uh, obviously, your double post. So the idea is the user is probably going to go right here, opening up a window to throw this slant route. Okay, Pretty decent coverage defense from Decroft, as you can see right here. But what you're going to notice is Kiv is going to have him. At this point right here, he has. this is a high point. If he high points it, he should have this. So he does. He high points it and uh, throws it just probably a split second too late and ends up getting catch tackled, and Decroft is able to get the stop. So I uh, want to show you really quickly over into game exactly what um, exactly what you just saw. So uh, we're jumping over into game film here, and we're going to go to bunch offset double post. And I want to show you kind of what, what Croft was running on this. Pretty much cover two, you know, basically, and then just drop people. It might have even been cover three. I think it actually was cover three, uh, but he was basically running cover three drop, essentially. Uh, but what you saw was a smoke, a uh, and then a slant, and then a motion out. And really what, what he was trying to do is he was trying to hit that read right there. That's what he was trying to hit, um, but was a little bit, um, just a little bit too late honestly on the read ends up missing the read and Decroft is able to get the ball now Decroft's going to go down and where I think you know really um, makes a you know makes a really really good drive here at the end of the second quarter and is able to go down and put three points on the board now uh, Kib does get ball at half okay so that's kind of that's you know that's that's definitely a great thing for Kib's offense he's going to be able to come out and uh, try to work the ball up and down the field but what I wanted to break down here was a couple more setups in practice mode before we jump off. Um, but essentially, Kiv's going to be able to do what you just saw him do. 
and he's going to be able to do that over and over again. So I just wanted to break down a couple of the plays, um, a couple of the plays that he ran. Primarily, one of the most common plays that he ran um, in this game was he ran a lot of smash return, he ran a lot of mesh post, a lot of uh, double post, and um, he ran a little bit of flood, a little bit of PA dig fork, and a little bit of Z spot and go. But this was primarily, you know, we're, we're going to see a lot of this right here. Okay, and I just want to break down the routes really, really quickly for you. So the first one, double post, um, this is kind of the play that he runs if he doesn't know what to call. And essentially he's going to put the back on a flat, put the tight end on a flat, and then put the this, uh, this slot on a hitch. And he could basically do this on both sides of the field. But effectively, um, you know, if they're in man, obviously you're going right there to the post route um, or you're going to the C route, right? The C route's a pretty safe read uh, against man-to-man -man coverage as well. You'll see um, once he cuts the outside. And, of course, I can't get it out there. But when, it, when you're in mutt and you have 90 route running on every position, you're going to be able to get open against man-to-man. -man. But within reg, sometimes it can be a little bit weird. But you'll see here, like double post, able to get open against man. So you have that read. Um, and you're going to do that. Now, if you're running double post and they don't run hard flats, this is the key. Um, when they're not running hard flats, you can just hit this. Uh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Um, you can just hit this little shoot flat. A uh, little shoot flat right here. Let me show you. This little shoot flat to the tight end. Very easy read from double post. And this is the air truck that I'm talking about. You basically truck, and when you're you're able to get out, uh, get outside fairly relatively easily. Uh, the next thing you're going to be able to do if they're playing hard flat, if they're not playing hard flats, you can hit your running back quick to the flat. Um, you see the vert hooks come down on it a little bit, um, but the vert hooks won't stay down on the ball. They will, you know, basically hang down for just a second, and you'll see right there they'll go back, and you can shoot that flat out there and get him for about you know eight to ten. Now, what they'll start doing then is they'll have to start double flatting. So what you'll see for the defense, you'll see something like this uh, effectively with a user. So you've double flatted both sides, and then basically um, you're going to use her the middle of the field with your middle guy. And what that's going to do, and this is why double post is so good, it's going to force the opponent to have to double flat. Well, now that they've double flatted, they just don't have the resources to be able to put in the middle of the field. And then you can take that little hitch route over and over again. So that's double post in a nutshell. The next one that I wanted to show you, uh, this smash return play, really, really effective. So smash return, um, this route to Antonio Brown will be man-to-man -man coverage, by the way. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the outside guy on a um, fade. And we're going to put the inside guy on a zig, the running back on a flat. So you still have the flats on both sides. But what this does, let's say they're running cover two or they're running some kind of zone concept. Really, this tight end route um, will will get over that cover too. You see how you see if you run it to the wide side, the tight end is going to have space to get over the top of the cover two zone. The other thing that I like about it is against like a cover three. What you'll notice is uh, this route to Antonio Brown will uh, sometimes be a one play touchdown against cover three, as you can see. Um, now, I actually would recommend. The zig coming from the outside receiver, from my testing on this play, uh, I think it works a little bit better for the one-play touchdown. But um, this is what Kip was doing right here. You know, just a simple um, zig corner streak concept on the right. And what you'll see is if they're in cover three, um, you can kind of hit that. But you see the timing's a little bit backward, in my opinion, um, especially if they're running cover three. Now, Kiv was obviously pay playing a lot of cover three deep half meaning that, uh, or cover three invert, meaning that Decroft was deep halfing these outside guys, um, which was why the corner route to the tight end was working so well because Brown was able to run off the deep half. And then this corner route, because it because it's, um, and I threw it just a split second too early, but because of the corner route being inside more and taking a little bit longer to develop, it's going to get out a little bit better against curl flat zones and um, cloud flat zone. So what you'll see here, you know, basically, see how he gets out there against that, and that's that's a really nice little read from that. And let me show you this to you one more time. Now again, you're going to force the Mabel coverage. You're going to force them to basically defend the flood concepts on both sides, and then what that's going to lead them to have to do. Um, and I'll show you this backside in just a moment. 
But what that's going to mean for the defense is the defense is basically having to play heavy outside coverage, but you're still getting over the top of that. You see how he gets over the top of that purple zone. So that's very, um, that's really why Kim was running this play so much. Now, uh, what I want to show you is what they're going to do. So basically, then what they're going to have to do is they're going to double flat both sides, right? They're going to have to do that. Well, now that you've double flatted both sides, I'm running smash return, and I've got a middle, um, my back is on this little shoot flat. The shoot flat is going to pull the flat zones out of the way, leaving a window for you to hit that in route right over the middle of the field for an easy gain. And you saw him hit that consistently. And then the, the, the next play I want to go over is mesh post. Uh, this is another play that Kiv ran. I think he called it six or seven times in this game. But he would. this was um, basically uh, just flat route the running back. That's all you got to do. You got flats on both sides, and then you have the drags underneath, and then you also have the middle, um, the middle post route as well. Another setup that he was doing out of this was basically taking the fade, putting the, or the wider inside wide receiver on a fade route, uh, taking the little shoot flat to the back, and then having something like this right here. Um, as you can see, this is a little bit more of a cover three uh, or cover four concept. We're basically trying to clear that middle uh, of the field, and basically this is just flooding the middle of the zone once you've established your floods. Then the next play is the flood itself. Literally all we're going to do is put the running back on a flat and snap the ball. This was one of Kip's favorite plays, and it's one of the most effective plays. Very simple play, but uh, very, very effective. So you can consistently work the ball up and down the field with this play right here, and literally the only adjustment is just put the running back on a flat or a wheel route. Very easy read. As you can see, it beats man, beats zone, and uh, just a nice yard gaining, uh, yard gaining play. And then the next play, uh, PA dig fork. Now, typically he would come out of this flipped, and what he wants to do is take his slot apprentice and put him on a corner route and then flip the bunch and then basically max protect and take this um, outside guy, put him on a smart route. This is kind of the route that you're looking at. And what you'll notice is against cover three, if they're not playing uh, deep halves, you can sometimes get that over the top of the cover three. Not all the time. Sometimes you can get that over the top of the cover three. Um, in my opinion, the deep thirds play a little bit too weird to just consistently trust that as a cover three one play, but uh, but is pretty very it's fairly effective. And I'll show you it one more time real quick. But PA dig fork. We're gonna put the left side guy on a corner route of the bunch, flip the play, and then we're gonna block or tight end block our running back. And what you'll see is you know if you get time in the pocket with this. This can potentially be a one-play touchdown against cover three. You see how he gets out and over. Obviously, like I said, getting time is the key. And in practice mode, for whatever reason, they have just decided to make everyone play like Bruce Smith. But we'll show you this one more time. So I'm going to go to cover three. And just to show you the route does work and show you what he's trying to, trying to get. Now, that's why you put the hitch route on the field. I do want you to know that. So your first read really is your corner route. Then you're looking to your hitch route to see if that's open. And then you're looking to Brown. Brown's your last read on the play. But I'm looking here. Okay, he's taking, oh, okay. And then I'm just going to pass lead that up. And as you can see, it's a tight window throw. But oftentimes, we'll get behind that cover three uh, defense. So that's pretty much what you saw, honestly. Um, he ran Z-spot and go sometimes. Um, Z-spot and go was really just to try to beat the man-to-man -man coverage, get a big play. But really, it was just after the flood concepts on both sides. A lot of flood, a lot of verticals. But really, smash return, PA dig fork, mesh post, double post, and flood were, in my opinion, his best plays that he ran in this game. That smash return setup is really, really good. Hopefully, you take advantage of that. But we have a full guide on the bunch in our text message membership, so if you want to pick that up. The biggest thing I would say and the takeaway for Kiv from this game, in my opinion, is you got to come to the dance with a little bit better red zone offense, at least from what it saw. Maybe Decroft just came with really, really good red zone defense, but in my opinion, I just felt like Kiv did not have a red zone offense, or at least the red zone offense he ran just didn't work. And that's really ultimately what played the big difference. That, in combination with the strip specialist sack fumble, in combination with the one-play touchdown against cover three that Decroft had twice, I think those were the key differences in the game, but a very hard-fought battle by two very elite players. And um, 
obviously a lot of respect to Kiv as we're basically taking uh, today's video and learning from him and learning from what he's doing. Uh, one of the best gun bunch players in the game, and these are some of the most, um, in my opinion, the most effective setups that he had, and uh, just wanted to share those with you. So shout out to him. Great game by him. It was fun to watch. It's fun to break those games down. If you like, if you guys enjoy this, let me know. If you don't enjoy it, let me know as well. But also, if you want the full gun bunch guide that we released to our text message members, it does include concepts like this in it. It also has other concepts in it as well. Um, all you got to do is text me. My number is 812 216-3644. We will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern on YouTube, uh, talking Madden 21 with our subscribers and our members. So um, we'd love to have you be there. Uh, like I said, if you want to know when we go live, just uh, no hit notifications on YouTube or join our Discord. I typically post in the Discord whenever I'm going to go live. The Discord is in the description of this video. And that's also a place where we talk Madden pretty much 24-7, 365. We're always talking Madden, always got questions, labbing, uh, getting better. So if you want to get better at the game, those are a couple of things that I would recommend that you do, and we'll see you on stream tonight.